Hey folks, y'all ain't gonna believe this, but maybe you will. Let me show you what happened one day when I was cutting the grass. And a person told me a long time ago that the difference between a fairy tale and a beginning of a redneck story is a fairy tale begins with once upon a time and a redneck story begins with y'all ain't gonna believe this but uh here we go i went out and bought a new toil titan max and uh you saw the video of it we've had a little over a couple thousand views on it but I explained a little bit about the difference between that and my John Deere 757 that we had for 15 years. Uh, broke out the Toro Max, uh, Toro Titan Max, uh, yesterday and went to cut the grass with it for the second time. Got just a little over two hours on the uh, hour meter and stopped to move a garden hose out of the way and an a electric plug. And when I got back on it, I cut the PTO back on and it cut on then it stopped. Tried a couple more times, made sure my uh, grass, uh, the mower deck was set up high enough to where it wasn't an issue there, and that wasn't the issue. So I pulled forward and looked behind me, and there's a big old pulley laying on the ground. Yeah, a big old pulley. Well, it was too late to call up the dealership, so I uh, called them up this morning, and they said, if you come on in, bring it on in, we'll uh, see if we can get it fixed up for you. If not, uh, we, we can come pick it up on Monday. So I went ahead and trailered it up and took it on down there and uh, it, the pulley didn't just fall loose, the bolt broke uh, the way it came from the factory in the crate and they're having a few issues with things like that since COVID and I understand a lot of companies are having issues like that, you can't get workers and stuff but uh, they did me right, they took my lawnmower into the shop and the uh, when they realized it was going to take a while to get the parts for it. The uh, owner, Scott, he uh, had them uh, put the, uh, give me a demo 
uh, mower and they loaded it up on the trailer I'm back over here let's let me show you what I got here this is a Toro Z master turbo force 5200 got the LED light and uh, it's a 2000 of course like all the Toros it's got the battery on the back side here and let me get up here and give you a look at it essentially it looks like my Toro but it looks a little beefier and I'm told it goes faster than mine did it's got a 24 and a half horsepower v-twin uh, engine on it it's a 708 cc it's a demo it's got uh 35.1 hours on it and the tags are still on here so i'm gonna leave the tags just where they're at this is their lawnmower it's not mine sent me here with it full of fuel it's a smaller deck mine's a 60 inch this is a 52 but i'm told that it will actually cut faster than the one that i have it's got a two inch receiver on the back but we're going to go ahead and take this thing out and see how it does i'm going to use it to cut the grass with and if everything goes all right with uh, the, the mechanics at, uh, for my lawnmower to load it up and bring it on out here sometime Monday or Tuesday, which I won't need it to cut by then anyway. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give them a bad review because they did everything they could to make me happy on this when they had a, a lawnmower that was broke down and didn't work. So we're going to go ahead and use this, and when I'm done... I'm going to give you a review on this Toro Z Master 2000. And hopefully it won't be a better review than the one that I just bought or I may be upgrading. All right, let's cut this grass.
is folks the Toro Z Master 2000 I just got done cutting grass and the our meter has 37.2 there's some other things this thing has on it that I do not have on my Titan Max there's a USB hookup right there by the throttle. And it's two of them. Uh, I don't know if that would be a good thing to use while it's under, while it's being used because it's, uh, it's not dry out here at all, but I've still got a lot of stuff that I need to blow off of here. I'm not sure if I'd want that going down inside the USB hookups, but they probably have something set up to let that fall on through. And it also has a light switch right here. There's a uh, there's an LED right up here in the front. It's got an adjustable seat. I got to tell you, one of the things that I did not like about this is it's a lot more powerful, or at least it feels like it's got more pickup than the Toro Titan Max that I bought. And this would work really good on a very level lawn golf course or you know if you got a yard that nobody drives across but yeah you can look around here burning some timber that I cut up in the yard and I've got the bird pen uh, whenever we go over into the woods pull wood out for firewood sometimes we'll track the yard if it's wet outside and if I don't get around to clearing that up I've got a rut to drive over let me tell you something you drive over a rut real fast with this thing if you don't have back problems you're gonna but, I mean, it's real. It's got great pickup. That's the only issue I had with it. Maybe if I was a younger man. Uh, right now, I can't take this thing too fast in my yard because I've, I've never leveled out this yard. My, the only leveling out I've done out here is with the box scraper on the back of my tractor. There's no ruckus rake or nothing like that's ever been over this place. It's a well-built mower. Nothing was shaking or, or nothing like that. It's just got so much power in it. This thing's got a lot of, a lot of get up and go. I don't know if it's ratioed higher than the one that I got because when I move forward with the sticks and, and pull back, I'm not getting the response that I get with this, and it's, it's not, nothing wrong with the response. It's just this mower is uh, a lot more powerful than what I'm used to. And, and I've used a commercial John Deere now for 15 years. But I guess as these things are are coming along, yeah, they're, they're a lot better than they were when they first started. I really like that two-inch receiver. I tell you, I wish there was some kind of way of putting something like that on the back of my mower. And these mowers right here, if I get into anything wet, like if, say if I were to use this thing to pull something with a two-inch receiver back into the woods, I'd probably have to go get my tractor and get it out because these uh, zero-cleanse mowers are just notorious for not having traction when it comes to uh, wet areas and especially muddy muddy areas look they they sent me home with this thing because my mower was down no rent to it or nothing like that this is a demo that they let me use while my mower is being repaired and you know when you when you work with a business they can't do any better than that i went went there with a mower that a pulley that came loose uh, actually the bolt to the pulley had broken and it's a pulley that goes to the mower deck. Let me see if this one's set up the same way. Yep, right there. That pulley just broke, but the bolt broke and it fell right off the mower. That pulley right there. Nothing wrong with this one. Everything's holding on fine. I tell you, one thing I like about these two, when you lift this up, you see these little these little stoppers here. These when you drop it, it's rubber to metal. Didn't have that in my John Deere. It slammed down and it was metal to metal. And uh, if you hit a bump, it uh, you, you couldn't keep paint there. It's got an adjustable seat. It's got a, uh, a little gauge right there to the right of the seat, your left, right there. 
where you can just look down and see what your fuel is. Uh, mine's got a little sight gauge right here that you can't see while you're riding it, but you, you know, just take a glance at it when you go to get on. These Toros are pretty, pretty nice. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Like I said, we just had a hiccup where a piece that was put on at the at the factory had an issue, and and I might have to give it to them if they follow through like what I yeah I'm sure they will follow through with it unless something bad happens. But they told me to go ahead and take this demo home on my trailer, and Monday they're gonna come out here with their truck and trailer and bring my mower back and and pick up this uh, Z Master Turbo Force 52 inch. I did notice a difference on how long it took to cut the grass. 52 inches is 8 inches, 8 full inches less than what I'm used to with a mower deck for the past 15 years. The mower I had was 60 inch and this mower is 60 inch and uh, I missed it. But those are issues of mine. You know, if I had this mower, I'd eventually get used to it or that'd be an issue with me, not with the mower. But I'm, I'm liking this thing. I really am. I'm liking these mower, these Toro mowers. Cut really good. And they cut really good going through tall grass. I had a little old 42 inch deck on a regular tractor mower. It's what I had before my John Deere. And that thing could go through tall grass at just about full speed. When I went through tall grass with my John Deere, I had to slow down or I just pushed the grass over. It didn't cut much. Uh, this, this mower right here and the mower that's at the shop right now, I won't go through the tall grass fast just because when I do, it, it leaves enough to where I want to go through it again just because I don't want all that sticking up. Nice mower, too powerful for me. This is the Toro 2000. Hey folks, this is Buddy out here at Hog Heaven. They just brought my uh, my Titan Max back, and there it is, looking brand new. They put the new uh, pulley on it and everything. Getting ready to take the demo back, the Z Master 2000. And uh, I gotta tell you, like I told y'all before, Brady Outdoor Equipment did a great job. They didn't have the parts fix it, but they didn't leave me high and dry. They uh, sent me home with a demo and uh, backed up what they sold. Did a great job. But here's the two of them together. This is a Z Master that I showed you. Great mower, a little more powerful than what I have. It's got the Kawasaki instead of Kohler, but it, uh, it had the smaller, smaller deck, the 52 inch. So used to a 60 that I had a couple times I had to go back and and re -mow because I left a four inch swath of grass out there because of my fault, that's not the mowers. But I'm looking forward to the 60 inch and going back with this. But you can see just looking at them together, the seat sits higher on the Z Master just like it did on the 757. It's a, I think it's more of a commercial type of mower than what I have. But uh, they're both great mowers. So I advise you to call up Brady Outdoor and uh, check in on them. They got stuff smaller than this and a whole lot bigger. Thanks for watching.